All right, Dan Solomon along with Sean Ray, you are watching the number one bodybuilder in the world perform here at the 2018 Olympia. Made his pro debut 12 years ago. Five years after that, he became Mr. Olympia. He turns 39 this year. He's attempting, of course, to equal the all-time record set by both Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman. Last year, he dealt with all sorts of issues, some injuries. He promised to come back this year better. He promised to come back here and make history. And uh, Sean Ray, I'm going to let you get this posing routine started by giving us a take on what we're looking at right here from the seven-time champion. You're seeing why they call the guy the gift. His side chest is world class. And now he's turning to the back, which is what he will even admit wins him competition from time to time. It definitely saved him last year's Kenny Nix to Big Rami. You see the glutes, you see the hamstrings, and now we get up to the back double bicep. And usually by comparison, this is where Phil rises to the occasion. Well, Phil Heath and his trainer, Hani Rambod, are known for mastering the art of those 24 hours. They have a history of being able to tweak and tighten and improve over the course of those 24 hours. So the question is, has he done what he needed to do coming off of last night where he did get some criticism? Well, by himself, he clearly has dried up. It's when he stands next to the other guys is we're gonna find out how much. But right now you see the split in the biceps. You see the feather on the hamstring, the separation, the striation. Still is dried up nicely. You cannot determine whether it's enough until he's standing next to the other lineup. Again, he doesn't have very many weaknesses. This is very much a business trip for Phil Heath. He knows what's at stake. He knows there's plenty of people that would like to see him go down. When you get to the top, those are the realities. And uh, he is here. He has done the work. I caught up with him the other night. He has laser focus. He and Hani Rambot have worked extremely hard to get to this place. And he is on the doorstep of history. Well, when you talk about history, Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney, you cannot not talk about someone like Phil Heath, who may join that company. But again, the midsection is what I'm drawn to in between the poses. He's got to maintain a nice, tight midsection because that's where Sean Roden will close the gap. He may shut the door on him when it turns the rear double bicep, but when it comes around to that front abdominal and thigh, that's where Sean Roden is right there waiting for Phil. So this is going to be a battle of comparisons in terms of what they look like standing next to each other. And for Phil, he's a different kind of champion. He's also a, a champion in the era of social media. It's been a whole different set of circumstances over the course of his run. And, um, and he's been very willing to put his opinions out there, very willing to respond to detractors. But here he is tonight in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena doing everything he can, scratching, clawing, and fighting his way to the finish line because he's looking to do something that only two men in the history of the sport have ever accomplished. Bill will always be in that conversation, tied with Arnold Schwarzenegger with seven. I'm not a big fan of the non-routine in the routine round. I would have much more appreciated Phil doing an orchestrated routine. But nonetheless, he hit all the Phil Heath signature poses, and he's dried up nicely. Now we come to this payoff, and they start with the comparison. I'm looking forward to what we're about to do.